Okay, so let's accept that message and pause the game. Let's take a look at our resources. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be extra specially difficult. We do have a decent amount of uh, berries. That's hugely important to us. Um, not a great deal of animals, and most of our resources are spread out quite far. Next thing we need to do is just come into the farming section and grab farm. Oh, look at this. We've got fantastic fertility all over the place. That's wonderful. Wonderful news. That's great. That means we'll be able to build farms pretty much anywhere. So that's a really, really lucky stroke of bit of stroke of luck there. Um, so we've got resources on the floor. And we've got one ox. So as quick as we can, we want to get up to two ox. And um, we want to get these supplies put away. So at the beginning of the game, one of the key things is the amount of timber that you have. So we start with eight timber. And that's enough to build a logging camp. So let's begin by doing that. And we'll make that our priority right now. So you notice that we've got five families. Let's just put three people in there and pause it again in a second. So you see I've put three people uh, into the logging camp. We want to get as many logs as we can as quick as we can because it's essential to building everything. Uh, we've got two people unassigned. So these are the guys that are going to do the building for us. So the next two priorities we have are to get um, these supplies put away. So let's start with... Uh, a granary. Actually, start with the storehouse so that it's closer to uh, that location up there. And then we'll stick a granary next to it there. Perfect. <clears throat> so we want to get a road and connect it all up as best we can. Now, I don't know why I like to do this, but I always like to do this. Try that again. Round the uh, ox, I like to make a little roundabout. I don't really know why I do it. There's no benefit to it. Don't think I'm instructing you to do it is a good idea. Um, because there really is no benefit to doing it whatsoever. I just like having that little roundabout. Um, so yes, you can see our approval rating is 50%. And the only thing people are worried about is being homeless. Keep them homeless until you've got all the resources you need in place to be able to cope with living there. We only have five people, so what we need to do is we need to get as many logs as we can, and we want to build ten houses. That's five houses for the five families we have, and an additional five houses uh, for the next lot of people who are going to come in and build the next load of um, infrastructure. Um, but don't build a single house until you have built a church, a tannery, um, and got some food and uh, other resources on the go. If you do, you're going to have a terrible, terrible time. Uh, this is just growing at the moment, so we're not going to jump in there and grab it before it's finished growing. Uh, wild animals, we need to start getting hold of as well. But right now, we're focusing on getting these resources out of the rain. So let's watch them build this. Absolutely stunning, this game. So pretty, so beautiful. So we, we only have two unassigned people, so that's only two families helping to build things. So don't do anything yet. Get the two buildings built first. This will be, this will be what's his face telling us that he's in charge and we'll tell him that no he's not okay we're almost there great so we'll stick one person in the granary and one person in the storehouse and we'll just get these stores moved as you can see the difference between uh, having somebody assigned there or not is that they get to use these carts and they can pick up 10 items as opposed to just one at a time. So um, that's massively in speeds up everything, basically. So let's get that done. 
Okay, so how are we doing over here on the logging camp? We've still got three people. They've got 12 uh, lots of timber. We need minimum 20 for the houses, but we also need um, some stuff for the church. Now, in order to build the church, you are going to need 20 planks, and we don't have any planks at all. So the next thing we're going to do is build... Um, saw pit i'm going to put that right next to the logging camp i'm hoping in fact i've never actually quite checked this out um i believe that they take the log straight from the logging camp to the saw pit that would be my logical thing um we'll try and keep an eye and see if we can see if they do that i think that's what they do right so we've got all the resources out of the rain so we can now unassign these two people and they go back to being builders That gets the saw pit up and running. Okay, good. So we're going to take two chaps off of the logging mill and put them into the sawmill. And we're going to tell the sawmill to keep a reserve of 50. Um, I don't quite know how this works, I'll be honest. But I find if I don't do this, sometimes they just sit there not doing anything for a long time. So let's have them doing that. Right, so we've still got two builders doing absolutely nothing. We are going to need some more stone. So let's get the stone cutter in place. Again, not worrying about houses. I know people are homeless and they don't like it. But trust me, as soon as they get houses, they worry about more things. As long as they're only worrying about one thing, you can see that our approval rating is still quite high. If I'd have built houses already, that would be down to about 20 or 30%, maybe even lower. And people will start leaving. This is by far the best way to do it, I promise you. Right. So we're going to get two people in there. And we're waiting on 20 planks. So this could take a little while. There's five. Speed it up a bit. There's 10 planks. 15. Twenty planks. Right. So we can take the stone cutters off the stone cutting. We can take the saw pitters off the saw pitting. That gives us four people now. We're gonna build that church. Whoops, wrong button. So where should I where should I plonk this church? Kinda of like to keep the church centralized to everything else. Um also high up on a hill feels nice, but Okay, we're gonna we're gonna plonk the church just here. And we're in a bit of a rush now. It's April already. We need to start getting some food in. You can see if you look at the resources, we've only got two months worth of food. We also haven't started chopping down any firewood yet. It's another priority we need to think about. And then once we've got food, firewood and a tannery, then we build houses. I find four people is the perfect number of people to build the church. It's quite a big build, obviously. So four people just gets it done in a timely fashion.
a while out. Right, that's going to cheer everybody up. So, let's get the foraging thing down now. Um, I want to put the foraging hut fairly close. To where they want to be foraging. We don't want them messing about too much. Put a little road in there. And we'll also get a woodcutter's lodge in there too. And start clearing some of these trees down so that that path is a little bit more exposed. Right, keeping the four people building. And we'll, we'll lose one or two pe people per build element. So that's the woodcutter's lodge. Pop a chap in there. Hey, bring that piece over here. Running out of food. Forager's hut. So that'll start bringing some food in. And then over here, it's a very, very long way away, of course. We are going to put a hunting lodge or hunting camp, as it's called. Right, so although we're right on the precipice of collapse, we should be fine from this point on. See, we've already gone up to two months' worth of food straight away. Um, once we've got the hunting lodge in, then we can start transporting goods back to the centre of town. So we need a chap on there. Yeah, let's get the storehouse. Actually, let's get the granary done first. I think getting the food centralised is probably our priority right now. You can see we've got no houses at the moment. Gonna wait until we've got enough food. I try and keep a year's worth of food if I can. But the farming is gonna be essential here. Absolutely essential. months worth of food so we can take this forager off we need to still keep getting wood there we're going to take the hunter off because right now we need to focus on building some homes so we should have 32 timber I was going to say at least 20 and we do so when you build the houses make sure build them deep enough so that they have sort of back gardens so to speak so that's only eight I need more than that we need minimum of ten if I can do more than ten perfect 20, 12 will do beautifully right so we've got two builders pretty much all we're going to do now it's June so it's still summer so we're not worrying about firewood just yet we need to get the five houses down for the people who already live here and the additional houses down for those who are going to come and help expand the place 
But if you look, our approval rating still 40%. Still 40%. And I haven't built the tannery yet. That's another thing I need to do. Right, here we go. This is where all the problems begin. As soon as you start building houses, people start demanding stuff. Approval rating is down to 38%. <coughs> right, so I'm going to take a person off the granary, wherever it is, where's the granary, and put them on the storehouse so we can get goods coming into the centre of town. Right, so we've got three houses. I'm going to need a tannery. Why do I have to carry this alone? We're going to need a marketplace. You don't want it too big, you don't want it too small. Something like that would be more than ample. I always like to connect it up to the roads. Let's do the same thing with the church. We've got four houses, five houses. Right, so we've got enough fuel. So we'll take this chap off, and that gives us three builders. That'll really speed things up. Still, only having one ox really slows things down. So if you can, I do recommend upgrading to a small stable, but I need some more... Uh, wooden planks first. I might put a chap in there actually for a bit. Right, there's the five houses for our people, plus one extra one. We've got to get this approval rating up above 50% now. Ordinarily, I have the tannery up and running before I build the houses. I can prioritise this. Have a look. What have we got in the storehouse? We've got a small amount of hides. We've got a few planks. Oh, that's good. A few planks is all we need. Let's upgrade this. Always a good idea to upgrade the stable before you order your ox. Because I've had it in the past where um, I did it the other way around and the ox never, ever, ever turned up. So a bit of a game bug there. There's quite a few game bugs, I have to say. If you're thinking this is a complete finished article, you're going to be very disappointed. It's very much a work in progress. Right. People are going to need some water. Oh, I can almost, almost fit it in that gap. Let's put it down there for now. I should have checked the water situation first, shouldn't I? got two wells in. So the church helps a lot. Really, really helps a lot. Right, so I'm going to put someone in the tannery. I'm going to put someone on the food. And I'm going to pay to add a herb garden, because that helps financially as well. So we should have a bit of food coming in, and I should have one person left just to stick over here in the hunting. Whoops. In the hunting area. So, that's the storehouse full. The granary 
not being managed by anyone at the moment. But we do have an extra house, so we're waiting on someone to come in. But that's not going to happen until this goes over 50%. Water access. What? Oh, we don't have a well yet. Okay, let's get the logging guy to come and do some stuff. He's got plenty of logs. We're not short of logs. We want to have 10 people in by by uh, next year. That's that's the target. Right, so we have a well. We're just waiting on two types of food. You can see this house is going up quite fast now. We have the small stable, so I'm going to order a second ox. That just helps speed up development. But it does mean that we've got no money, no regional wealth. So we need to uh, start producing goods that we can sell as quick as possible. You can see that the approval rating is going up very fast now. 44%, 45%. That'll be 50% before long. And then these houses should start filling up. And that will in turn give us... Uh, Enough people to put one person at each job, so to speak. Or one household at each job. Next year, though, the priority is going to be farming because we need food. Desperately. Almost there. Fifty-six percent approval rating. We shouldn't drop below that now. They've got everything they need, uh, except for the double food type. But it's a bit awkward because the hunting camp is all the way down there, so it does cause a few problems. Uh, so if I swap the storehouse over, oh, let's let's get them both working, I suppose. We'll wait for a household to move in to build the last house. Winter is approaching, so we're in a good position now. We've got food, we've got enough fuel and enough fuel uh, food to last the winter. Do I have anyone in here? I do. Right. Just drop below 50% again there. Only momentarily. We should be up and running again very soon. There you go, 51%. We shouldn't drop below 51% again. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. We're ready for the winter. I do need to get a manor in because uh, we need to build up our treasury so that we can hire mercenaries and protect ourselves from enemy forces. So that is another priority. But if we don't get people moving in, none of that will be possible. So you can see we're quite far away from the trees now with the logging camp. Um, so 
what we're going to do is we're going to move them. Possibly over here. I don't know where yet. It's a good idea not to move them in the winter because all the resources will get destroyed almost instantaneously. 66%. People are very happy. And we're having a late winter by the looks of things, so we're getting some really good foraging on the go, which is great. There you go. We've finally got someone join. So they're going to come and they're going to build the last house. We go finally finally on it hey you no slacking off so there you go we have now got plenty of housing only six families here but we're in a really good spot just for that number of houses Right, we're in December. I'm already going to start thinking about next year, so let's try and work out where we want our farms to be. So my recommendation is to build Thin fields, like so. Because this way you can you can still guarantee a harvest of sorts with a small number of farmers. It also really helps with um, crop rotation. And uh, I've got to say... I don't think I've ever had quite such a fertile land to work with before, so this is going to be interesting. I imagine we're going to get extremely high yields out of this lot. So we're going to say wheat, 56%. Crop rotation, so we're going to do wheat, wheat, fallow. And we're going to set this to the highest priority field. So this is the, always the one they're going to focus on first. This is the next highest, and this is again going to be wheat, crop rotation, wheat, fallow. So we'll do the same there. So we get two years at least with that. This one is going to be wheat, crop rotation, fallow, wheat. So we'll have one year on, one year off. And this will be, again, high priority. Now these are the least lesser important ones. So we're gonna say barley flax. Oh, let me try that again. Barley, flax, fallow. And this one will be flax. Barley fallow. And we've got one at the end here, which I'm gonna put on wheat, crop rotation, wheat. Uh, let's do wheat, fallow, wheat. Like that. So in one fell swoop, we've already planned for the next sort of three to five years, almost. Or maybe six years, maybe indefinitely. Um, we are going to need a farmhouse. So we'll pop that there. And uh, let's just speed our way through December.
approval ratings still above 50. It's fluctuating a little more than usual. Not quite sure why. I suspect it's because the meat and the hunting camp and stuff is so far away. So we're not doing a great job of getting any of that. Often there's a period of time where you need to stop hunting just to let them recover their numbers, so to speak. Right, so the farm is going up beautifully. Farmhouse is ready. So we've got, got a couple of hides, got a couple of things. There's no point putting anybody on the farm just yet, but I'm going to stick two people on there. Two people, I think... I don't know if they can cope with all of those fields, but they'll get the main ones done. So we'll definitely have a yield of some sort. Because food is going to start becoming a big problem with so many people. The more mouths you have to feed, the more food you need, surprisingly enough. So we have a bit of iron, we have a bit of stone still, and some clay. Not a huge amount of any of that stuff. Most of our work is going to be farming related. Right, a new family has moved in. That gives us eight families. Now nine. Nope. <clears throat> Still eight. We wanted ten by the end of the year, by the beginning of this year. Um, and I say the beginning of this year is, is sort of March time. So we're a little behind schedule. I'm going to blame that on the, the meat situation. Let's take him off there, put him on farming. Let's put everybody on farming for the time being. We have got a point to spend up here. Forager's hut is doing pretty much nothing. What are we doing for logs? 22 timber, that's not too bad. We can get another 10 houses built with 22 timber. As soon as we hit March, things are going to go boom. Right, so we got one year from this point of time to uh, build up an army and defend ourselves. So I am going to have to prioritise the manor. We need to make it to a small village first, darn it. Okay. Let's progress then. So it's March, so the farmers are out there already, beginning to prep the fields. And because it's a small field, that will be prepped and ready in time. We know that for a fact, even though there's only a, a small number of farmers, which is really important. That hasn't quite recovered yet, so we won't start harvesting there. Right, let's take this person off there as well. and get these fields as done as done can be. That's ten families now. OK, 
Okay, just one field remaining. I'm going to drop this down to just a single person. That's recovering. That's fully ready to go. So let's get someone in the forager's hut. Bringing that in. We have a chap over there bringing that in. We need to start logging again, so we'll do that. Um, right, so my priority right now has to be the manor. So I think I'm going to build the manor up here. Not enough goods. What are we lacking? Uh, do we need 20 planks? Okay, we'll put a chap back on planks. Just keep an eye on the plank situation. So I need to start taking taxes off my people, as horrible as it is, <laughs> so that I can afford to... Um, Higher mercenaries to protect us all from the bandits and such. Thanks for taking a little while. Right, we're doing good. Twelve families. That's pretty much every house full. Just need 20 planks now. Twenty-three, right. So we'll leave one chap in there, one chap in there. It keeps everything ticking over. And let's get the manor built. The menus getting in the way. We also need a tax office, even though apparently they don't do anything, but I don't believe that to be true because I don't see how you could set the tax otherwise. We'll make this the highest priority. You can see everyone's really happy, which is good because when we start taxing them, they're not going to be happy at all. Three hundred days to sort this out. Still waiting on the tax office. There we go. Right, now they're not going to like this much. But it's uh, essential. Land tax is going to be 20. How rude. And uh, tax for the uh, 
for the church it's going to be 15 percent, which is really 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 high um what we need to do though over here is we need to put a granary in uh no no we don't need a granary because it just goes straight to the farmhouse we do need a windmill this, is this side because we're going to put a second farm the other side and a communal oven we'll whack that in let's put the communal oven the other side right let's get this built please people so the animals still haven't recovered so i'm not going to attack them just yet get a second forager on there we need to get some food in and the woodcutter's lodge is going to be the next thing we need we got 15 months worth of food okay i think we're all right actually let's prioritize the building Right, so we've got three builders. We've run out of people. So let's prioritise getting some homes down so we can get some more people to come and join us. Lovely stuff. As we build the houses, more people will come. And uh, it'll be a sort of a knock-on effect, hopefully. So as we build one house, we can take a worker off and put them in the farm. And so on and so forth. June. So we don't need to start harvesting till September, so we don't have to worry too much. second chap in there get that firewood up to a, a year's worth so beautiful this game Right, despite the heavy taxes, 56% happy, 54% happy. We should have people moving in. We should be okay. Right, we can start hunting again. Storehouse is full, so we need to make it bigger. We need to grow that, so we'll make that priority. Nobody's moved in yet, a bit frustrating.
star for me and my own. Right, so the woodcutter's lodge is totally full. So we've got six months worth of uh, firewood. We're going to move them to a new location. So we'll put the logging mill up there. And the wood mill over here next to the farm. chap back on there and a chap back on there and we might need two chaps on there right how long till this needs 13 days okay perfect So we'll say all hands to the farm. Might need an extra forager as well. So they're not they're not hunting anymore because we've already reached the minimum amount. Just put a third chap in there. Not a perfect yield, but not terrible. Now we're getting families moving in, which is also great. So we're not quite getting enough variety of food sources coming in, which is a bit frustrating. Hoping with the mill and the bread that might help fix things a little bit. Hundred and sixty five days remaining. Right, we need to start trading to get some cash in. So I'm gonna put a trading post right here. Right on the edge of town. We'll go back down to just a single farmer, that's plenty enough. Where have I put everybody? Right, so we can upgrade this to level two now. I think I, I managed to get two upgrades there. So they're going to bring in a bit more cash. And then hopefully we'll start trading some stuff. So these are surplus goods. So we can start say, selling some of this stuff. We need a chap in here. Let's just pause it a second. So we're going to start exporting planks. Start exporting stone. Uh, we can export blacks and barley but we want to keep the wheat 
Um, we can't really extract any of that because we need it all. Uh, linen, we can export. Herbs, we can export. Wool, we can export. Malts, we can export. Iron slabs, we can export. Wax, we can export. Clay, we want to keep. Yarn, we can export. Firewood, well, we do have a surplus of firewood. And dye, we definitely want to export dye. It's a valuable commodity. So we're going to get a dye factory up here. Buy the berries. Wait see out the forager's hut because there's nothing there. Same with the hunting. So we haven't got the food supply at the moment to make these uh, houses up to level two. We've got one done there. See, it looks a little bit more modern. No longer a thatched roof. Let's grab all spare hands. Get the farm ready for next year. So we have ranked up twice now. So I have two points I can spend. I don't know what to spend them on yet. I'm holding on to them. I've tried a few different things. Nothing has really worked out astronomically well. I kind of feel like the trapping thing maybe is good. I like the sheep breeding idea, but I've never actually got it to work in my favor. I'm wondering I'm going to do beekeeping for a change. It's a different food source. Oh, it gives us access to wax. Let's do that. And then maybe we can sell wax. That seems to be a, a really good money spending option. Right, so we've got 48... We'll start churning that stuff. And getting as much bread produced as we can before winter. So we're making a bit of regional wealth now. We've got a bit of treasury wealth. We haven't got very long though. And I need to buy mercenaries. And at the moment they are 110, 90 and 15. 15 is very cheap. Never seen 15 before. Be handy if I could get 15 and one of the other ones to come. That would help speed things along quite nicely. Right, so there's nothing in there, and they've completely done all of that. And these guys are producing bread now. Right, so I can upgrade So this guy can make ale from, oh hang on This guy can make war bows, that's useful mm, From a military perspective that would be great Right, so that's a level 2 house. So let's have a level 2 house. It's doing level 2 housey type things. 
level one houses doing level one type things. So we'll make all of these level one houses. Oh, nobody living in any of these. Oh, there's one. So we've got some vegetables in your garden. Some chickens in your garden. And some goats in your garden. Lovely stuff. So we're just maintaining plus 50%. Lack of entertainment. Oh no, there's a new. There's a level two complaint coming in. We'll turn that into a tailor's, I think. to a Fletcher's workshop. Right, so we're in January. I'm going to pause for a second. We've only got 50 weeks left. I am hopefully going to survive the attack from the enemy. Um... We'll get some more fields in. Slightly bigger fields now because we have more people. Wheat, wheat, barley, and flax. Right, good stuff. How are we doing? Very short on food, but fuel is okay. Let's boost the amount of fuel we're producing. That's what I was going to go. tilt and put all three in there. Whilst we fight our way through the end of the winter. So I don't think all of our houses are currently being occupied. 16 houses, so we don't need to build any more, really. We just need to fulfil the people that are living there. We've got 31 coins. And we've got 30 days, so it's going to be really tight. I might not be able to do this. We might not survive. These guys aren't doing anything, are they? Oh, they were, sorry. They were producing bread. Oh, he's doing a good job. We don't need to do any more from him. Right, so the taxation is too high. We've got 50 coins. But no one else is going to move in because they're not happy. Having said that. 
once the food comes back in, we might be okay again. We have six days before we get attacked. Oh, they're going to cost 45. And they're only archers. Oh dear. That's not going to leave us a lot, is it? Well, this is what we're dealing with. We have to survive this attack or... Everything we've done up until now is, is kind of pointless. So uh, that's what it all boils down to. Will two lots of archers be enough? So let's prepare for the attack. So let's... Uh, hire these guys in. Where do they spawn in? Oh, don't tell me this is them. Oh god, it's going to take them ages to get here. Oh dear, I don't think they're going to get here in time. God, here they come. Yes, sire. March. Forward. Well, maybe not yet. We just have to hope and pray they get here in time. It's going to take them so long to get here. <clears throat> Very unfortunate. New mercenary companies available. Let's have a look. 90. Wow. Can't afford them. A flock of crazy geese or something they were called. Policies available. Hmm. Don't like those much. There's not a lot open in early access. We're a long way off having that as a working thing. Right, so the farms are awake. So... Let's take the excess people off of jobs that they need not be doing right now. Let's try and upgrade some of these houses. These are level one houses. Hopefully that's going to start producing more food. We 
We need a few more people moving in. Oh god. Where's my army? Oh, here's my army. Right, spread out. Shoot at will. Spread out. Shoot at will. Come on, start attacking these peeps. There we go. Right, we're getting some good hits on them there. For some reason they didn't move, they just stood there and decided to get killed. Move your asses. So there's still 18 of them. We actually have more men than they do. Come on, archers. We need you to uh, win this battle. <clears throat> Astronomically. What are they doing? What happened there? Uh, excuse me. So now they're fighting with each other. I'm completely confused. What's going on? Where are my army gone? Who the hell are these people? I don't know who these people are coming in. They're having a right old scrap over here, but none of our men are involved. Who the hell are these people? Who the hell are these people? I am so confused. Right, come and rally, chaps. Oh, 45. I've nearly got enough. Oh, man, I need one coin. It's just my little army here, five men. Holy cripes. Looks like they're all leaving. Bodies need burial. Okay, well, I'm a little bit confused. I think maybe we survived that. 
He's not hunting anymore. Get some foragers and some dyers on the go. I think the fields are done, I'm not entirely sure. But perhaps they can't do the fields whilst um, we're under attack or something. It's very plausible, isn't it? Oh, we need to bury the... A corpse pit. I'll put it over there. Next to the road. Where the hell is everybody going then? You're not doing anything, get out of there. Stop logging, stop soaring, come and dig this pit. Look at this, 16% approval. Unburied bodies causing all the problems. Right, okay. We'll get as many people on that as we can then. Because that's making people very unhappy. And you can actually see the dead bodies, look. They are just strewn about the place. Why can't we take their weapons? Why can't we take their swords and their shields and stuff? See, so it doesn't allow us to do that. I think that's stupid. That's exactly what they would have done back in the day. So they need to make that change, I think. We got rid of all the dead bodies, thank goodness. That's good. Don't think we need you any more, lads. Thank you very much, though, for your service. I don't quite know how we survived that. I don't know why my archers ran off when they did, because the second lot of archers hadn't even started fighting when they ran off. So that was quite annoying. Right, let's bring down my taxes just a little bit then. That should uh, cheer people up. Right, let's see if I can get an apiary. I need two planks, do I? have minus four planks. How is that even humanly possible? So we have 15 people living here, which means we have houses over. Let's try and get a vicar in the house. That might speed up... Uh... The influx of people. Well, I'm struggling a little bit now. We, we need the people coming in and we haven't got the happiness. I 
Morale is going up, but it could be a whole nother year before we get enough people to deal with everything. Get in there, we're starting to make some stuff and some bits and bobs. Where are we at? 32%. It's going up slowly. Quite a rich, wealthy nation now. Definitely making some, some coinage. Look at this. Compared to me, they've got way more money than I do. We got enough food and fuel for 11 months, so that's good. That's a really good situation to be in. It'll be nearly time to hit the farm. Tough game, this it really is. Right, the forager hut is overloaded. Start bringing in some animals. Any of these houses capable of and not yet doing stuff? Too many empty houses for my liking. Let's get some additional food coming in. The more food we have, the better. Twenty days? Come on. Who doesn't want to live here? Seriously. Forty two percent. We're starting to get back under control. as much happening as we can. Let's right, see if we can't get an apiary down now. We still don't have enough planks. We have to speak to the trading postman. Listen, we need to have some planks in here, you silly pillock. So basically, we've promised to um, sell planks to people. We haven't even got them yet. Let's get all hands to the farm. We're nearly back to 50%.
So I don't think these fields are going to produce very much. Well, I don't know. There's a yield of 250 there. That's that's actually pretty huge. Right, let's stop logging for a minute. Can't stop the saw pit because we need planks. Get the vicar out though. The vicar had a stall. That's ridiculous. We've got five families now helping with the farming. Hopefully this will produce a, a lot of bread. Might make these the priority fields instead of these ones next year. But these little ones guarantee us some yield, that's the difference. Whereas if we get attacked like we did last year, we might not even get anything in the field. time I don't think we're going to get anything out of here try and force an early harvest out of all of them but it's October already so I think that's going to fail and all we have it's 29 grain, that's terrible. Ah, uh, someone's trying to claim our location. Get our army in. Where is our army? Oh, got them all the way over there. Oh no, they're not going to get here in time. Do we have any more army anywhere else? Ah, oh, these guys. Okay, they're a bit closer. Gonna have to be really careful here because as soon as that reaches the maximum, it's done. And it doesn't go up in smooth intervals. It jumps quite a lot. Maybe one more. That's it. We've got to attack. Ugh. Where's their army then? Oh, their army just pops up on the edge here. That's so rude. Right, spread out. Give ground. Five dudes. Run. Should we have them stand in the church? That kind of makes sense to me. <clears throat> right. So let's bring that down to one.
see if we can survive. boys are going to take they're going to take forever to arrive Lord. I don't think there's very much I could do These guys have got burning torch and torches, so maybe yes, sire. Yes, sire. should prioritize killing these boys. in position. I don't seem to be attacking them. Where have they gone? So they've broken my first unit. Get over here, boys, as quick as you can. They've broken my boys there. That's hardly surprising. How long are you going to take? Oh god, they're just going to take forever, aren't they? No, 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 go that way. No, 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 go that way. Look, they don't move. You give them the command to give space. See, I don't want you standing there fighting these boys. I want you to run away every time. But they don't run away. At least whilst they're chasing my boys. Oh, who's this? We may get lucky here. Are they actually going to fire at them? They are firing at them. Let 
Hang on a minute. Where are these cheeky buggers? That was cheeky. I couldn't see them in the um, in the trees. They almost had us there. Right, how are my boys doing over here? They're having a terrible time, aren't they? Let's try and keep them split up as much as possible. Old scrap in there, aren't they? Come on, you're trained military men. You should be able to beat up these farmers, for goodness sakes. But they're not. Oh, for God's sakes, the menu on this is gets in the way all of the time. Who the hell's that over there? I think we need some more men. Oh, bugger. There are no more men. Alright, we seem to be... Uh... Doing all right. I need to turn these boys, and then I think we might win this. So we've lost our archers, that's annoying. So it's a foot fight now. All against all sort of thing. Oh, bugger, they won. I think they won. We were winning. Got 77 days remaining. Damn it, I think we're going to lose. It says we're winning at the moment. I'm not convinced we are winning. I don't know, that, that kind of looks like their army running away. Right, we are losing now. 72 days remaining. There are new recruits. So I can afford new archers. Where do they spawn? Right. Quick as you can, please, gentlemen. We've got 72 days to fight off these enemies.
Right. I don't know why we're losing. We've got more men than they have. I don't know where their men are. They're hiding in the trees somewhere. I hardly see that's fair. Still says we're losing. How can we be losing? Where are their men? Still says I'm losing. no idea where the enemy are and it seems unfair that I'm losing even though they're hiding ah this is the battlefield location here they've ran they've run off into a different County, and somehow that means that they're still winning. That's absolutely rubbish. So these boys are starting to lay down some fire. Pull back and let these boys lay down some fire. Move! Why aren't you moving quicker? They've got no energy. They've got no energy, that's why. Oh, this is bad. Archers are not very powerful against anybody by the looks of things. We haven't killed a single person, look. These are trained militia. These are army men. Completely useless. This guy's got so much energy. Look at this, we're not doing a single thing. There's still 36 of them. Yes, I am. Run. 
This sucks, man. So ridiculous. So they've been caught they've been pulled into a battle. Oh, this is just rubbish. The whole combat system is pants. Absolute trash it really is. So that's it, we've lost we lost the battle. And that was that. Ah, oh, to say I'm frustrated is is not even close to true. There are so many problems with this game right now. So many gaps in the gameplay. So many... The combat is just awful. Nothing works properly beyond building a few houses and making a beautiful city. Um, but having said that, I still love this game. I really do. Um... You could see there, I, I had two lots of archers firing at these these men. We didn't kill a single person. So archers, totally, totally useless. Totally useless at this point in time. Which is um, very much not realistic. And a massive shame. So anyway, I tried. I tried, I tried. Um... And I do like the game, but it needs another 18 months worth of development, I'd say, before it's anything close to a proper game. But so far, so very good. Pretty, nonetheless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.